Christmas is a time of thanksgiving, offering thanks to God for giving His Son a ransom for our sins. And Christmas is love. Love is sacrificing something that's most precious to our hearts. Humbleness is a treasure if we own its price far above the wealth of this entire world. And the real joy in Christmas is giving. So remember what Christmas really stands for, the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. In the Gospel of St. Luke, second chapter, verses 1 through 14, tells us the real story of Christmas. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. We're celebrating the Savior's birth but let us not forget that Jesus died for our sins. It's not his will that any should perish, but all have everlasting life. Peace on earth, goodwill toward men.